Hi guys, so today I'm going to make a tutorial on the new uh, birthday week launch that Tonic had, the uh, Big Top Carousel Gift Box die set. So they did send this item uh, free of charge. I'm choosing to show a review video of it, so um, of course all opinions are my own. And any links uh, I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So thanks for using those when you can, guys. Um, super cute. I mean, there is just a ton of ways to style this. And I think what I'm going to do, as you can see, you can make like a little two-tier um, box, basically, a gift box. And this kind of slides out. Let me see if they're like that. It swivels out. And um, the other day I did an unboxing of it. I'll link that video in case um, so I can go over everything again. But I did measure the dies in that video. And the largest die would be this one. So you definitely want to make sure you have a machine that will... Uh, fit this die, so I'll give you a quick measurement again. It's like seven and a half by uh, six and a half ish. And if you want more measurements, I'll like I said, I'll link the other video. And you guys can check that out because I measured all the larger dies in that video. But that is the biggest one, so um, just keep that in mind. Uh, and then you know you can put the little carousel in there, so it's just like the little character. So you can do one that's just a carousel. You can do one that's just you know gift boxes. You can do a you know a mix of both like that one what I think I'm gonna do today is and I think it'll be very cute is see how you can kinda of see like all three sides right here well the box is like a pentagon shape it has five sides but it kinda of has ten because the way they're kinda of like made you know like in this way where they go rrr, 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 so it looks like ten but it's really a pentagon so I think what I'm gonna do is in this f three sides I'll put in a little carousel horsies so you'll see them just like this and on the back two sides like let's say that's the back of my uh, project I'll put in two of the uh, sets of little cases so that way honestly I think that's really cute because you get the best of both worlds you have a little place to put some treats and when the person you know you gave the box to is done they have something cute and decorative and then they can put their own little treasures in the little boxes in the back so I think that'll work really well that way I can show you guys how to make the actual boxes with the swivel the way they swivel out and also how to put together the little horses. So, um, and in one video, right? So the video is not, you know, several hours long. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, there are a lot of dies. Again, like I said, I went through this in the other videos. So uh, real quickly, I'm just going to grab some base papers. I'll probably do a base of maybe, maybe cream color. Why not, right? Um, I like cream colored papers or white or black, whatever it is you want. But I think I'll do cream colors. And you basically need all these. So... Um, I'm pretty sure everything that they're showing you right here is a very base layer, so it should all be the same color. So I'll bring out my cream colored paper, but we're going to need 10 of these. I was going to start pulling things out already to start working with, but you know what? Let's just wait. Let me grab my paper, and then we'll talk about what we all need for this project. Okay, guys. So I have some cream colored paper here, and they're definitely showing you how to put together the box with the little, you know, swivel and everything like this part. But you do need this these portions that are inside, you can actually see it here. See this piece that's kind of going in? It looks like a little stable back there. It's kind of divoted in like this. It's like a little wedge. And you need five of those. So for sure, um, just to get started, I'm going to use this die. And I'm going to cut uh, all ten, because we do need all ten. Each of those sections is made out of two of these. And then you start making your little boxes and things. So I do not need the boxes quite yet, um, because we're going to do two sets with boxes and three sides with the little uh, animal. So, uh, I think just to start off, I'm going to cut these guys. I know for sure we need these connectors for everything too. So let's do uh, the ten of these and the five of this one just to have it ready. Um, this one here. And that will help us make our very basic box part and then we'll go in and do whatever else we need. So for right now I'm going to cut five and ten out of this cream colored paper and I'll be back. Okay, guys. That took two and a half pieces of paper. I used some really heavyweight cardstock and they had made mention to pay attention to where these pieces come from so you can put them back because it is packed in this. I don't even know if that came from there. But we're gonna make like little casings again these little bits that go into each other. So that's what they're talking about in number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and score because you know I like to score things ahead of time. And if you want to really really score them with a bone folder you know go for it. I just kind of do the best finger folding here scoring can do and so with this one what they're doing is there's two half tabs and basically what you're going to do is just flip one of your pieces and you're going to glue them together like this so instead of one long tab and cutting one off of another side or however uh, we have these two little half tabs okay and so we're going to do the same thing for all of the pieces that are like this but for now, basically, you're putting glue 
here on the underside of the tab and here on the underside of the tab, but I'm just putting it on here just to go like this. And always make sure they're butted up as close as you can. That looks really nice. And I always, you know, right on the score line, I always check the back side just to see how that looks. And if I need to make an adjustment like here, I'm going to open up just a little bit, pull it open there, and push that back in right there. Get that all together. So, and this is going to make one of the sections. So that's why you need 10 pieces. You need five sections when we're done. And once that piece is ready, you're just going to bring this up and bring that up, right? The glue tabs. So I'll do the same thing for all uh, five sections, right? All 10 pieces. We ended up with five bits that look like this. And our little pocket things that go in here, and there's going to be two. <laughs> levels uh, inside each one of these cases or one uh, pony or whatever right <laughs> whatever it is you decide to do with yours but these guys we're gonna connect them after we're done making all five we're gonna connect them with these bits so we'll do that in just a minute but I just want to show you again glue tab just making sure it's lined up really nice tight there and you're gonna end up with five things that look like this and then they go together like a little cake all around okay so I'll do the same thing with the other eight that are left so now we have these five pieces um, you know the next thing they're talking about is go ahead and constructing your little um, drawers if you want to put them in there so you know it depends when you want to connect these you want to connect them now so you have the whole thing and and then just bring in your drawers as needed but then you know the whole thing is gonna be in your hand or do you want to construct each little you know you can glue this all together and it's ready to go or do you want to work on each little section and then glue them together as you go either way you're gonna need those five kind of connector pieces and I don't know if you can see they're scored like double line real close to each other so if you were to score it on that larger line kind of push it there and then push it on this flap like the little score line that's closer to the flap side you're just gonna get like a kind of rounded edge you know it's like a little bit rounded and basically we're going to glue these in and I want to see if it matters where it should be glued. Yeah, it does. That's what, that's the whole point of this. Um, these guys are going to help when you go to bring in your other items so it looks nice and cleaned off. So, um, so like I said, I completed it totally just because you can use the same for all of the, you know, the, the little horse or for the other part. They're saying here if you're doing your boxes you can leave the top flap open until your boxes are in. Either way you can tuck them in there anyway. So what we're going to do is put them on whichever side you put them on do it the same every time. So if I glue this on I'm only going to glue this part and that long part and on the inside just so it's hidden away and what happens is later on when we bring the other one over, that's going to help it look really nice and neat on the edges, okay? But that's why it's on the inside going out. And so I'll do the same thing for all five. I'll just add this little piece, again, to the right wall or whichever wall you want, but this side on the inside in the same direction. So no, don't put one here because you already have one that's going to count for that. So the next one there, and then the next one I'll do, I'll put here here and here right so I'll be right uh, while I'm do that uh, when I come back I'll have the other pieces cut to make our little compartments so we need these guys and for each one let's say you know each one that's gonna hold two so one two and I'm doing two sets so I need four if you're doing all of them you're gonna need ten right um, the little guys but they each require this and they each require this and so one of each. So I'm going to cut four of this and four of this for the one, two, three, four little drawers that I need, okay? That I'm going to have. So I'm going to cut these from the same beige paper. Um, you can cut them obviously different colors, whatever it is you like, but I'm going to keep it all the same. And then we'll just use some pattern paper or something for the decoration part of it. But uh, for now, four and four, and I'll be back. So we have all those. Again, it doesn't matter where you place them. And to be honest, they're the same if they're this way or this way. It's just at the end, we're going to line them up together. Um, it could go this way, it could go this way. It just depends um, what you're doing and where your little boxes are. So, as long as you do them all the same. 
don't worry if you have to turn them left or right later. I did want to show you, um, I cut these guys out. I got two on each page, and it looks something like this. But there are a ton of small things that we need to cut later, like the feet and other things. So don't toss these out. I just have them here next to me to pile all the little bits that are left, you know, like this. And then um, with this guy, I got all four on one page. <laughs> Um, but the page looks like this at the end, so, uh, just, I lined them up, uh, left and kind of like laying across the short side of the page and then tucked one into the other, as you can see, like this shape here, and then I turned it in the shape there. So there we go. Okay. So, uh, let me see. I will take one of these and one of these, because basically you're making little compartments and in each one it's going to hold two, okay, two levels. And... Uh, let's start with this. Sorry, I just wanted to grab, I was reading over the um, instructions just to know what I was going to do next, and I just wanted to grab them. Because we did all these at once, and they're showing you, you know, if you cut them, make the one, make the drawer, put the outside, put it together. So I did it all at once, right, that step, as far as making these compartments. But now to make each drawer, and then again, there's two in each section. We need the little guy, this is the actual little, like, drawer that comes out. What you're seeing here from this guy is making this actual thing that you see that comes out right here, okay? The other one's like a casing, this one. So, uh, just fold it in, and again, you do, you know, I do take a minute, usually I use like my nail, but just to make it nice and crisp. So we're going to score all these, and that is what they're showing you. So in number two, they're basically just saying to join the two segments, right? Um, it didn't really talk more about it because what they're saying is later on to close it up on the top but I just closed it up already um, so we did that and now I'm scoring excuse me oh my gosh <laughs> my nails uh, went across this slick paper and it made a sound some people may not like okay so we have all those score lines so this is number three okay so I just kind of want to go back to relate to those when you have it at home you say oh okay I see so number three it says just to glue this little box to glue tabs and it's that easy that's all it says so all you're going to do is glue that and you already have that little segment with a little uh, space for your fingernail to open it up and then these back two pieces of course this tab and this tab so just closing it up like any other little dimensional kind of box so again I like to make sure everything's lined up really nice and again I always do everything in the air but if you want to lay it down go ahead and then this one too, right? Lined up really nicely. Especially that one, because that is going to be where you're pulling, so you have a little strain, a little stress area there. So number four, it says to create the hinge lock. That's what they're calling this piece. Uh, start by gluing only the below square panel to its adjacent outer panel. And I know that's a lot of info kind of shortened down to show this picture. Um, but what they're saying on this one, of course, we're going to go ahead and score everything. So again, all the score lines. And you're going to do this for every drawer. Okay, it has a casing and it has this portion. So I'm going to go through, score all of them. These guys, we're going to score them a little bit differently. For now, I'm just going to score them in like I do any other score line, right? We're scoring towards the rough cut side of the paper. Um, but that's this is, this is what makes the thing work. Okay, it's the mechanism, really. So um, we will definitely show you... When I say we, I don't know, some, like it's the royal we. <laughs> I will definitely show you what uh, that means there. Because it looks like this. Okay, this is the nice side, and this is the inside. And they're saying to begin to only stick down one of the tabs uh, to the adjacent squ uh, area. So what they're talking about is this main tab. See how this has like this weird separate four areas, basically? So on this tab, the very back one, Go ahead and stick it to its adjacent spot. And I'm going to keep this back so we can see this really well. So it's only that one. Okay, and then from four, it goes to five, and it says attach the opening box to the square hinge as shown. And they're just showing it looks like you're supposed to attach it here on this side. So this nice side touching your little, <laughs> I was like, where is it? Your little box, right? And you might think it goes this way, but it doesn't. Well, I guess you could do it that way. It'll still work. It might be a little tighter, but basically they're saying to put it here. So, again, we did that one tab, and then we have this little hinge thing, and then this guy we're going to attach around the end here. And I'm lining it up on the tab, because I don't know if you can see, the tab is a little bit smaller than the actual side, this side. It's a little bit taller here and a little bit in here, too. See how there's like some taller area? 
like it's left over. So I'm just centering it on the tab itself. I'm not going to put it flat and say, oh, okay, this is where I want to put it. I'm centering it on that tab. And I'm just assuming that's what you're supposed to do since there's space there. Now this is the part that's a little tricky. You see this little guy? Basically, this is... We scored it all in, right? So if you go this way, when I'm pushing it, this end on this side is going to butt into that space. So let me just push it, okay? It might look weird. I just want to show you guys what I'm saying. This piece, there we go, there we go. And it just kind of clicks. That piece just is along this line, or this side. This piece is along the opposite side here. You're only going to put glue on that little back tab. And just the way it is closed up, only that little back tab is going to be glued down. So, if you want to do this with like a tape runner type thing, um, you know, you would have already put that on there. Um, I like wet glues because unless you rip it, it's not going anywhere. So, let's do that. I'm going to tuck this back far. I'm going to put this up here. I know it's going to touch the glue anyway. So, we have that. It's going to leave a gap. So, as you can see in the front, it's nice and lined up. Mind your little tab that we just glued right now. We can put more glue in there later. It's going to line up against this guy. So I'm not pushing in too far, I'm keeping it pretty flush here on this outer side. And then all I'm going to do is just hold it so that that little tab at the end is touching. So I can just put my finger in there. Or if your fingers are a little big for that space, you can just find like something like this. Just something that helps you push it together, right? So that those things are making contact. All right, the tab. And that. So again, not this piece of the tab, not even that piece that comes around, but the very last section of the tab <laughs> needs glue. Nothing else. And it does leave an opening, and it's, actually if you look at the box you can kind of see this little thing. See how it's shorter here, and longer here? So it's just, I don't know, geometry, <laughs> what is it? Uh, these people, I'm telling you, that put this stuff together is just amazing um, to make that work. So, I am not going to mess with this quite yet, because I have a feeling if I pull this open it's going to come away, because it's wet glue. But I'm also impatient. So, the next thing they want you to do is just close this up and glue this on the outside. Um, it's not going to go on the inside, of course, because it just doesn't work that way. But let me hold this as I show you what you're supposed to do. I'm going to hold it together. So as you pull this out, actually, I'm just going to push it. Look at the little hinge mechanism is already uh, working, and it comes out. And then that means your little treat box opens up, right? Everything comes out, and you can access the treats. I'm going to push it back and see how the hinge just kind of goes back in, and this lid slides right in there. Pretty cool, right? So that's good to go. We know it's working. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And I'll do the same thing with my three other little assembly pieces for this. Right? Again, two sets of drawers like this for each box. Now, I'm going to just hold this. If you feel like, oh, it's going to, it might trap this, just open it back out and stick your finger in there. You can hold it. But this is pretty sturdy, especially now that that box is in there. I can just kind of push against that. And then again, I'll do the same thing three more times, and then these guys go in here together, stacked up. How cute. Then the other one. Okay, guys, okay, so I'll now I have back. my four little compartments. Again, they look like two because of the way they kind of come around. And I'll just match up the ones that look like the most similar, you know, <laughs> like the way they came out. Of course, uh, yeah, I like those two. And then it says here the next thing would be to put in your compartment. Now it's, you know, I put them together completely and I added this piece. Um, but they're basically just telling you to place them in here. It just says stack the compartments within the segment die. So that's basically step eight because they're saying, telling you to go ahead and glue this bottom, right? Add the side piece. You can leave it open on the top. But um, we're just going to put these in. It doesn't say to glue them. <laughs> But uh, you pretty much have to glue them because then they're gonna just going to fall out. Like you can obviously, with this little tab, the next one comes in and it's going to go... Oh, I can just show you real quick. It's basically going to... See how it doesn't look super finished right there? So this little tab is going to go right in there so that when you glue it down, it looks nice and finished on the edge. Okay, so that does keep it in for some, you know, somewhat, but no, you really need to glue these in. So it says place them, I'm assuming that means to glue them. Uh, but what I'm going to do is glue these together first because I can see them out here nicely, you know, make sure everything's lined up really nice. And then I'll glue them. And I'm just putting the glue on the edge, but you can put glue all over, obviously. I'm just lining that up, looking at it side to side. That looks so nice and lovely. <laughs> looking good and then when I put it in here I'm going to completely put glue on the top and the bottom so for now that looks really nice and 
I don't know if it actually sandwiches in here so well that it touches the edges. I don't know if that probably does. So okay, let's put glue all over then. So glue here, glue on the sides just so it looks really nice. All on the very side edge. Sorry if that noise is <laughs> a little much. Okay, and then down in here. Right to the edge is where I would prefer. And, oh, yeah. So let's make sure when you glue this in that these little tabs are going to be able to tuck in, you know, so it needs to be to the left of mine, the way I built it. I suppose if you had them built the other way around or if you turn your things a different way or however you <laughs> created it, you definitely want those facing the right way. So, again, I'm pushing it in. Yeah, it matches right up at the, I don't know if you can see this, the very bottom edge of these guys match up. The top is going to be covered anyway, but definitely still want to pay attention to all that. Okay, so that's one of our little compartments made. And I'll do the same thing for the second one, right? Because we're just doing two, and then we're going to do our little horses. Well, these two are done. I suppose I can glue these two together because we're going to obviously decorate them. But just pop these out, and then all we're going to do is put glue on these. I would kind of prefer to have them all ready to go before I do this. That way I can do any adjustments, you know, if one needs to be a little more this way or that way. You know, it's whatever. But for right now, we're gluing them like this. And, you know, keeping them level the same. Looks pretty good. And I would let that set up, but we're just going to go ahead and move on and put glue on the back of these little tabs. Sorry if you can't see, I'm just putting glue on the back of the tab there on the back side. Because now that goes in here, right? So we opened up our little guys. So that's just another detail that makes it look really nice and finished. Okay, so just kind of popping that in there. And I'm going to hold them both. So I'm going to do the same thing for both of them, okay? And I'll be back. Okay, guys. So just held that down. And now these pop back in. And I love how snug they are. It feels so nice. And then it looks nice and closed up. And then here's the rough side because the next time we come in with the next one, We'll put it in there, and so on, right? So, um, I should mention, if you're going to do the horses and all the horses, just the horses, maybe you don't need to cut these little extra pieces. If you just don't mind that, you know, they'd be like this. It's just the one to the next. You don't really need them. But uh, for the little drawers, it just looks more finished that way. But you can uh, definitely use them, even if you're just doing horses. And since I have mine cut, I will use them. Actually, I put them on. <laughs> um, but for the first three sections, we're going to have our little horses here. Now, again, we can put this all together and have it ready to go, and then just bring our horses in and add them. You can make your horses and add them first, and then put them into these, this little space. You can put these topper and bottom pieces, the little decorative pieces on first and then get your horse in there or do it all as one unit. They're kind of showing it all together, but it says to create the carousel segment, you have the option of creating a carousel section, of course, to your big top carousel gift box. Uh, cut the willow dies and the amounts shown. So for each one, you need one horse, one, you know, his little pole that he's on there, two decora decorations, the top and the bottom, two bits there, and then the mane, the little tail, and the saddle. And then this also, I believe, has a decorative piece, like a layering piece. Yeah, so if you want to do that all at once or, you know, add it later, that's fine. However you'd like to do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is cut my little horses, and I'm just going to do them a section at a time and add them. But again, you can create the whole thing. I mean, even here, they're just showing you to put the whole thing. We're going to put feet on this. There's lots of things. Again, you can put all this together before you even add any of the sections, right? Just have your base skeleton kind of stable or open area and then you can build everything in however you like to do that so I'm gonna put this aside for right now I'm gonna cut my little horses from white paper I think I'm gonna give them all gold saddles so the little saddle is gonna be cut out in gold for all three that's this piece here and then we have the little tail so I think for the tail and for the mane where's the mane it's the funky little guy See, I'm looking everywhere and he's right here <laughs> so the little mane so these guys I think what I'm gonna do is cut from like cute colors I don't know I just have a bunch of papers next to me so like let's say pink one and oh this one has like a lavender ombre color why not we can do that um, and then maybe like a little blue one which is a really bright blue but we can go with that guy and they will be kind of like candy colors so I'm gonna cut out three three from gold paper one set here, one set here, and one set here. Okay, so for right now, I just have my little horses. <laughs> and um, 
if you just follow, you can see where these are going to be. I'm going to take a little bit of that glue off because I don't want it to warp my paper. But you can also uh, run it back through with the embossing fold, not embossing folder, but the embossing like rubber mat if you want to get that definition from the die. But uh, I'm just placing it there and you can see there are little areas where that fits right in. Same thing with the little main. And I'm actually just going to put the glue on here very carefully. And I have my little pink mane, my little purple ones, and all that. Oopsie. Sorry, just looking at the picture there. I closed up my instructions. It goes right behind the ear, basically. Behind the little ear there. And then our tail, and I'll just put this on here. And I'll do the same thing for the other colors. How cute is that? And if you want to make a drop shadow um, horsey or you know anything else to make it a little more um, heavy duty, I use heavy duty uh, paper, so I think we're good there. So I'll do the same thing with this guy and this guy. And then when I come back, we are going to need these little kind of the pole, obviously, and then these little decorative areas. Uh, so that comes, that comes from this guy and we need two for each set so we need six of this and I'm just going to cut it from the same beige paper, the cream color paper should I say. Uh, and then we need three of these, one for each little horse. And oh yes, there is again another piece here that you can add on here to make it just have another, you know, level of, excuse me, yeah, so you can just add this on there for decoration, but I guess I'll do that at the end when I do all of it, so I will leave that off for right now. So I'm just going to run this through, six of these, three of these, and I'll be right back. So I was just looking, I mean, they did say you just put this on here, you know, you want to put these bits inside first, because uh, every single one of these, what you're going to do is score it there, and then it has these little tabs. So do you want to have this set up as one unit that you're then going to bring over with your little horsey on it and everything and stick it in? Or do you want to just go ahead and take a moment to, right now, go in here, stick these in, and then add the horse? You know, whatever it is that you think would be easiest, I think I am going to go ahead and add these things. I'll show you what I mean. Because just, just so your fingers can get behind there, you know? And basically this is going to be flush at the bottom somewhere, but far enough in that they're touching those little tabs, right? So just inside a little bit. I'm just trying to see about how far that is where the tabs are touching. I don't know if you can see there. It's just like, just inside. It's like a little lip. Okay. And just making sure that guy's touching. And I'm putting my finger in there. I'm just holding that little tab at the bottom. Same thing at the top. And the reason I'm not decorating it right now either is because I don't really know what color papers or what I was going to do for that. So definitely when it's flat, it's easier to add a little decorative piece if you want to do that. And I always kind of push them out so that way it's touching the surface of your paper when it gets there instead of trying to for this to be folded completely in and then it's not even touching the surface. So that's that. I'm going to turn it over and basically do the same thing. Add this in. Again, just a little bit inside the box. As far in as those little bits want to go. Just straightening that out. There we go. Okay, and just like before, I'll hold that little circle in the center, that little half circle. Just holding that down. And just making sure everything's touching so it's adhering nicely. And then these little guys, you know, who do you want where or what, but at the same time, they can be a little higher or lower on the little pole, but just remember that that's going to be tucked inside. So let's pretend this is in there and that's in there. You know, you can put it as far in, down, or up this little pole. And so I think for this one, I'm going to put it kind of in the middle. This is going to be my middle one. I'm just going to hold that on and let that set up and then I'll show you how to adhere those and then I'll do the okay, same thing with the sorry, other two. I have a little oopsie. You know, before we put that, we should go ahead and build it up only because I do have these pieces and I use them so they need to go down before those bits go in. So I'm just going to squeeze this one in because I didn't do that. But I'm going to take a moment then 
to basically put these guys together. So that would mean putting glue all over this, taking my segment, making sure these guys are all facing the right way. So if your flaps are on the left, make sure your flaps are always on the left. Sorry about that, guys. Um, again, if you were just making horses, then you don't need these little tabs. But since I did mix and match here, I'm going to get that little tab in there. And good thing that's a small little glue tab because it was really easy to pick it up. Okay, again, just making sure everything's lined up nice and flat. I'm going to hold down this little flap, and I'll show you what that looks like when I come back. Sorry about that, guys. So again, because I mixed and matched it, I have those little flaps. So now we're just going to put it all together, which is funny because I've been wanting to do that. <laughs> Maybe it's instant gratification too, but uh, we're going to put this... Uh, all together again making sure your little flaps are facing the same way again if you're doing this just the carousel and you don't want to use the flaps then don't or if you still like the finished look of that then use them but just know you're gonna have to stick those down before you put in um, that little portion of of the uh, decoration right and then this one our last one again needs to go like in here so either way I'm gonna put glue all over this and all over this side and then we're going to wedge that in here. Oh, you guys, how cute. And you don't have to do it all at once. I mean, I'm just doing it all at once because why not? But look at that. And then you can see, you know, how high and nice and sturdy you have everything. Okay, I'm going to let that, I'm going to hold down to that for a little bit. And then just glue these tabs in just like we've been doing. I'll put glue on the back to glue it in and glue it in. Okay? Okay, guys. So the last bit, because I just put the flaps again you could have done this at any stage we can do this at the very beginning you know just whatever since this is the first time I'm doing this I'm just going through the steps and I'm like okay next time maybe I'll do this first or I'll you know I would like to have this I like the way it looks and it's fun just to hold it but anyway <laughs> so right now we're gonna do these last flaps right so really these flaps were created because just to finish that off as you can see I mean there's a lot of things going on there so um, here we are oh interesting look at some of the glue from before just kind of gotten there from this last little bit okay so I'm going to close that up and that is our last little bit oh my gosh so I'm gonna hold on to that for just a bit until it sets up and then just pop these back in place of course I it feels so nice and tight look at that so cool okay, okay so right there we are again I'm gonna set my little stage so I will do that I have all my little guys on their pieces here so they're ready to go. So again, just like I was doing just now that the little flap is there. Okay, same thing. I'm just going to put glue on these. So sorry guys for that little oopsie because I forgot about having used those other pieces. Okay, and same thing. I'm just going to pop these in here, you know, as far in as they'll touch the little tabs and hold it down. And same thing at the top and same thing for this little okay, section. Hey guys, so I have... The little stage set how cute is that oh my gosh so we're supposed to put glue you know on these guys and put them in here but I was thinking instead of gluing it right to it what if we use some foam so I'm gonna use foam um, and I have this little size that happens to fit really perfectly and if you want to just reinforce that you can also put some glue but part of the reason I want to use foam is that it sticks right away so that's up to you but sometimes people want to reinforce it put a little glue on that foam too and I'm gonna start with this one because it's the first one I did so the, the glue might be fresh over here and I know I want my pink one in the center so I'm just gonna come in here with this guy and let's get him in there <laughs> alright and basically there right and then this piece up here oh my gosh <laughs> Sorry if I was kind of off center here. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? And then again, I use the foam. You can tape it or glue it right to these pieces because that's basically that's what they're there for. Uh, the same kind of shape and everything. Um, so yeah, I'll do the same thing with the pink one and the purple guy, and I will show you what that looks like when I come back. You guys, I mean, look at this. So again, on this side, I have my little horsies, and then back here we have some little treats and treasures. So. Again, try to put it into one tutorial so you can see how to do both of those things. Um, and then, so we have feet to take care of. So let's do our little feet. And the feet also have a little decorative piece. But basically it's this. And uh, you're going to need, I think I overlooked that earlier, five of these. 
And um, sorry, yeah, so I'm just going to run through uh, some of the cream color paper. Again, whatever little scraps I have here, I'll just, you know, find a good spot for them and I'll find uh, space for all five. So now that we have our feet, again, this is constructed a little bit differently. You know, you put the top down, then it says to put the feet on each section, or at least that's what it looks like, but they're saying a little bit worded a little, a little bit differently. But all we're going to do is take these guys, and these also have a little um, decorative piece. Again, I'm going to do mine afterwards. But for right now, all we're going to do is fold these in, and you can either connect them all together right now, or I wouldn't do that so much. I do like, it, it depends, because a lot of times you'll have it all one piece, and then you can kind of work it. So what I'm going to do is turn this over, because we're going to glue these down here. And what you can do is glue these guys in pieces down at the bottom here. I'm just going to go along the edge, of course. Actually, what I'm going to do is put the glue on here. That way I know I'm exactly on the edge, just kind of a little bit far in. These kind of overlap a little bit anyway, if uh, need be, but I'm just going to put it right to the edge like that and hold on to it. And again, I'm not putting on the edge of the actual box, like this insert part. I'm putting on the edge of the um, little box portion, the base portion. And when I come in with the next one, I like working that way, so I'm going to go that way. Again, just get them all ready to go. And then the little decorative piece actually bridges from here around here. That's how it is. It's this little piece um, here. Oh, sorry, guys. So if you use that, it goes from here to here. You know, So it kind of bridges those little gaps, too, where they come together, which is nice. So for this one... Oh, you know what? Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and put the glue tab and glue on here. Again, I did it differently this time than last time. I just wanted to make sure I was in the right spot. Uh, we're going to glue the tabs together and also place this. And again, right on the edge. Looking at those corners, just making sure that's lined up pretty nicely there. Here, and when I think it's safe to let go, I'll come up here and make sure that these guys are lined up pretty well. So I don't know if you can see, it's very stylized on the glue tab. It matches up that little inner part there, so just get that going. And set it all down. And Excuse me, so I'll continue going around until I get back to the beginning and I'll um, meet okay, you there. Looking good, I'm back around here. And again, just a little glue on that tab. And oh, let's get this out here, there we go. Pretty good. Meeting up really nicely there. Okay. So I'll wait for that to set up and then we'll turn it over. Okay. Just take a moment to go around and make sure it's all in there. And that's the base at the bottom and there's our little feet. And so now we're just going to work on our top. But how cute is that? Again, we're going to dress this up, of course. So, uh, to make our top here, our big top, <laughs> uh, we need uh, five of this section, which is nice. Five of these guys. And then we have these little tabs that are going to help us glue it down, so we need 10 of those, which is this one right here. Again, with those little scraps, and then I'll probably bring out another piece of paper for this. But we need 5 of this, 10 of these, and we'll add our top, and then um, decorate it. So we have um, our little guy here. We have the 5 pieces that are going to make the top. And I think I will go ahead and decorate now, because... Um, you know, these guys are kind of small and to put them on the side later. So I have decided to use this really playful paper I have in my stash. Um, just something I've had for a really long time. And like this one with the purple dots. This one has the little green dots. This has like a checked pattern. I mean, the back sides are so cute too. But we're going to go with this other side. And so I'm just going to do a simple thing since we went and you know, discussed everything on how to put this together today. So I'm going to use, I think, the little ruffled pieces although you have like this holly inlay we have like a flourish inlay we have like a flower inlay we have like this really cool pattern inlay but we need basically everything that has these pieces right so ruffle ruffle uh where's the tab one this one so as you can see these pieces go into the tab this is the one for the other side so again i'm just using pattern paper we need these for the top and um at the little base of the feet i'm going to use this I know this stuck onto it, so let me <laughs> get that off of there. Um, we have inlays, all kinds of fun things. Oh, and then the little ruffles here. I do like that they included two of these, so you can get two of these knocked out at once. 
So with this guy, I think I'm just going to cut this out of some gold paper, just to have another gold accent. And I think I'll use the purple paper for the top, the green for the little foot area, and then that pink checkered kind of look for this. And then, in here we have these spots too, right? So um, that would be this piece, where is it? This piece here, that we can cut from whatever other paper you would like. So. I will be right back. And of course you need uh, a few of those. So I didn't discuss in the instructions because that's the basic construction. So you know for each of these little boxes you need one of these squares. So I need four of these. All right, one, two, three, four. I need four of this. We need ten of this for the top. We need, I believe, ten of these, possibly. <laughs> and then uh, for my project each one requires two of this little piece, so I'll need six of these, right? And then again ten of this also, the little gold accent. And I'll be right back. I always say whenever you have something like this, just run as many things through that you can together at a time. So like I did the purple things with the gold things and this guy all on the same mat and kept running through. And then at the end here with these little ones, I just put them on one of my smaller machines and just ran these guys through together at the same time. So I do want to mention my daughter had seen this with before I put anything in it. It was really just when I was assembling. You remember I told you I was gonna stick these together? She's like, that is so cute. And I'm like, ooh, just wait, girl. Just wait. <laughs> so all right, so for these guys, um, again, you can pop these up on dimensionals if you want some dimension. For right now, I'm just going to glue this down. And I don't know how this paper acts, so I'm going to take off some of that glue because just in case it wants to do something funny because of the glue being on there. And then uh, these little guys. Also, just a quick little, just around here, just a little something. So I'll take a moment to do that around all these portions here. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my gosh. So I'll do those. Uh, these little pink pieces, of course, I'm going to stick on these areas here. Again, just taking a little bit of that off. And so those guys will go there. And then of course this other piece I'll glue here, right, with a little notch out. And then down at the feet here, we have these guys that you just kind of give them a bend. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And again, wipe some of that off. And they go in the corners. So you're just going to hold that there, match up your little corner bit. Hopefully it's nice and straight. There we go. And I'll hold that for a second. And then I think the only other little mat decorating. Again, you could do this when all the pieces are flat, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Just put it here, these little guys. And we have this. So I'm going to take a minute to do that, you guys. And then all we're going to do is add our little tabs and pop our top on. <laughs> it's going to be so cute. So we have this piece here. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, let me show you this already. I mean, just adding that decoration. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the last bits is just um, steps, uh, I guess, uh, 15, you know, 16, <laughs> I guess that's it. So it says to join the roof dies together via glue tabs, glue the roof hinge dies um, to the roof as shown. So they're showing that all in one picture, but basically they're saying to go ahead and join it together first. At least that's how I interpret it. So anyway, either way, I'm going to go through, I probably should have done this when I was gluing everything, but I'm going to go through give my scores and these little guys are going to end up kind of facing down a little bit but um, I don't know if I need those out of the way for now while we do this so let me go ahead and go through and score everything so it's nice and pointy too at the very top right here um, that way everything nestles in really nicely because basically we're going to take these guys and put them all together like this and I'm just going to go for it, but if you want to make little flags, which again, you can use like the different dies that are in here, you can make a little flag to put on the very top or however you want. And this one has a little tassel. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go around and just score all these. I'm going to go ahead and score these two, the little glue tabs. We just need to score them in the middle. And then I'm going to fire up my glue gun, but I'll do that in just a minute. So okay. I'll be right back. So we're just gluing them together. Again, I always like to get the glue right to the very edge of the piece and then I give it like a little bit of a zhuzh so it kind of spreads out a little bit and we're just gonna go through lining it up really nicely right on the edge is what I always like to do <laughs> how cute is that 
and I'll continue going across. I do want this to stay really well before I move on, but the next one, of course, is just putting glue on the next tab and bringing it over, giving it that little zhuzh all the way around to the beginning, and I will come back when I get to the beginning. If it turns out that it's easier to put the tabs on first and then stick them all together, which I doubt because they'll be kind of in your way down here, uh, we can talk about that then, but let's go ahead and just glue all the way around. I know it looks really tiring now, it's going to open up. To pop in these last two around, you know, it kind of flattens out. I mean, you can totally flatten this out until you actually put this last piece. So if you wanted to, like, just put this down to squeeze them back. I always work in the air. I don't know. <laughs> do you guys do that? Let me know. I think I mention that all the time, but I don't know if that's odd or if that's just typical. But um, again, right on there and our last bit. So I'm just going to put the glue in here. Try to give it as good a judge as I can. Look at that. And again, it just comes in real snugly. I did a total like 360. It was under and bring it up around. Okay, that looks really nice and lined up. And then again, just right in here. Flatten it out. Just to keep that going there. It looks really nice and tight. Look at that. Again, I have the little hole. If you still want to, even now, put in a little... Um, top piece you can definitely do that okay all right now let's see these last little bits the glue tabs i just want to see yeah so they look they look symmetrical at least they do to me i don't know there's one side that's right it looks the same either way so basically what we're doing is we're taking this gluing the one side and of course the shape is pretty much showing you there that it's outer to the inside and on each little bit, okay, each one of these guys, they're not gluing together, they're just there. Because what's going to happen is we're going to put glue on this, and that's why I'm going to fire up my hot glue because I think it's easier to squish them down, get some hot glue, and then just put it on top. Um, and not have to worry about, like, if they're actually touching well or anything like that, because hot glue, the thickness of it will, even if it's just barely touching, it'll hold it, right? So, we can put this. I guess you can do some foam adhesive, too, just to give it a little lift, but... Okay, so in each tab, I'm just... Each little area, I'm going to bring over a tab, stick it down, okay? So I have my hot glue ready. I'm just going to take a moment to really kind of push these in, because right now they're just kind of sticking out. Still leaving them so that they kind of want to come out, like, do you see how they're kind of angled up a little bit? Because that way when I put the glue, when I bring this over, and when I push this down on here, the glue will touch before anything and I just push it down. Now, you can do the same thing with the white glue. Just make sure they're angled out just a little bit, just like this, because that way when you go down here, it will definitely be touching. And then it says there, there's a little tip if you, you know, obviously you can get your fingers in here and push against. But if you want to open the drawers to push against uh, the rest of it, you can definitely do that. Okay, so uh, I am going to do something a little bit different. So we will see, because <laughs> for me with the hot glue, it squishes out, it'll touch it, and it will should stay. Theoretically, if you want to put foam adhesive, that'll give it a little bit of a lift, I suppose. You know, bring it up a little bit higher if you want, but I'm not sure that that's the look we're looking for, but something to think about. Um, I don't think this is ready yet, because I really need this to be, like, super ready to go, so as I put it on, I put, place it down, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm kind of debating. I'm like, should I put this on here, because that'd be easier, and then get this down here? I think that might be what I'm going to do. I'm That's me. That's just me. I'm not following, you know, what the rules there say or whatever. But I think I'm going to put it, like, right out here, too. That way I'm not squishing it out in a way that's going to squish everywhere. But you can definitely put the glue on the little tab bits. And then I'm just going to bring this guy over and just eyeballing it. I'm going to push that down. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Bring it this way. <laughs> I can kind of see like what's going on between here. Oh my gosh, how cute. And I'm just pushing it down. Again, you can push up in between the layers, but that hot glue really, if it's touching, it's just going to set up right there. So um, there we go. Again, you can open these guys up, but they recommend kind of push up against the tabs. Same thing on this one if I wanted to. Yeah, we want to make sure we're not gluing those shut. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Again, I did that. If you're using a wet glue, you're definitely going to have to hold this for a good while. Just to make sure that stays down. Alright, I will have the reveal in just a minute. <laughs> so, 
There we go. There's the little back side there. And as you can see, when you open these little guys, the top ones, obviously, you need to tuck this away so you can close it, right? But they're free-flowing, so you can definitely just move them and tuck this back in. But the bottom one, of course, is not impeded at all by that. My goodness, let's see, you guys. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, definitely a labor of love. Super cute, so much detail, or not, or however you want to do it. You know, if you want to add to it, do less, whatever it is that you want to do, uh, the world's your oyster, of course. Uh, thanks so much. I'll have some images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. And, um, yeah, so I hope I gave you a good idea, you know, how to get together. Again, you're going to find your own little uh, tips and tricks, but it's definitely a labor of love. Definitely worth it. I know Miranda's super excited about it. She's very quiet and still waiting here for it because she doesn't wait for me to take pictures of it, I'm sure, before she takes it, huh, Amanda? You can talk. No? Oh you're gosh, too shy? Got okay. Okay. <laughs> Showing off. Um, let me tell you, as best as I can measure, um, it is about five and a half inches wide there it looks like um, maybe from the very top if I'm just eyeballing it I don't know another five and a half inches tall uh, the little pockets are like one and a quarter inches deep and I mean it's kind of hard for me to tell guys I don't know how you want me to measure this but if you can see there's like two inches I don't know from there to there three inches all right well I hope that info helps all right guys thank you so much again uh, images coming up links in the description box thanks for watching and I'll see you all at the next one bye now